Hi guys, so today I just wanted to play a little bit more with the um, Diamond Press uh, Happy Mail uh, kit. So whenever I did the first review video, um, you know, I always want to keep it basic to what's in here and how to work something like this when it's a little more technical. Um, and this wasn't that technical, but you know, saying when it has steps, I want to make sure those steps are clear and then um, I always have in my mind, okay, I'm going to come back and do something like different with it. Um, so this was initially sent free of charge from Diamond Press for my review, but again, I already did the review, so that's the disclaimer for that. But since I just mentioned it, yes, there's it. there it is. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links. So I was thinking about it. In my mind, I'm like, well, if we already have the mechanism, we could probably do a lot of different things um, that we can stick to that little flap, right? Um, and then I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll grab some different shaped dies that we have, maybe some rectangles or some squares or something like that. And um, and then uh, when I came to look at this to see what I need from the kit, um, this just popped off the carrier. I'm like, oh, well, we already have a rectangle in here. So my idea was to just grab whatever dies you have, you know, in your stash, but this would actually work for what I'm thinking. So it's just going to have a different look. Um, you can do whatever you like. You can maybe cut slightly bigger, some little something than this guy. But I think I'm going to use that and just try it out and see what happens. So. Uh, I'm going to call the basic pieces that we need. So I'm just going to grab some paper that I think is pretty... Oh, look at the little hearts. I didn't even notice that the first time around. And then what's that other die there? Oh, how adorable. This die right here is for this cute little envelope with the little birdie. Did you guys already pick this up? Super cute. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is just cut these pieces just so we have them. Again, if you want the full tutorial, check out the tutorial that I, um, the first review uh, tutorial I did. But I'll be right back with some um, papers cut down to what I need from these different pieces, and I will so be right I'm back. I'm going to have it orient this way, so it's oriented a little different way, so that's another fun, um, you know, change that we can make there. And so I just cut some, obviously my standard A2 size card base, I just folded it regularly. If you want to make it a long card and fold it regularly, that's fine too. And you can put it on um, other size cards. It's just easiest, I think, to access little pull tab and stuff like that if you stick with the A2 size. And then this piece is cut just smaller all around than that. So this is um, 4 and 1 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths. Okay, so that's my base card. And then we're going to put these guys together. And again, now that we've done this before, I know part of this is going to be hidden. So this is going to be the nice side of my card, but I do want to do some stuff before I do that. So let me just stick these two together. Um, I have wrong sides facing. This is going to be what's facing out. So um, make sure that, you know, it, it doesn't matter. I guess if you stick it the other way, you're going to turn it around. But yeah, just putting the wrong sides facing. Stick these two together very well because you don't want that to come apart later. And I'll probably go ahead and use the um, the stamp that says pull. I'm going to stamp it on here with some stays on because this is a very slick paper. So I want to make sure that that's going to stay on. So I'm going to stamp that when I come back. That'll be done. Um, before we move on to adhering this just so I have a nice slick surface. I'm looking for the nice side of my paper, which again is where it cuts into, right? Not the rough cut side, but however you guys want in the first video. I wasn't sure if we were on the front and the back and I stamped on the, um, I'm stamped, what am I saying? And <laughs> I stuck things down on the, the good side, which ends up being the other side showing, right? When you're doing your project. But uh, so on the nice side of our paper where it cut into, I was just thinking about using these little guys and I probably should already grab this, I forgot to grab the colors. Um, I want to pull out some of the colors that are in here with like the bright pink and yellow, maybe some blue. So let me grab those, I'll be and right all back. All I want to do is just make a little background. So just take a bunch of these. Let's start with that guy maybe. And just stamp them wherever. And maybe some blue. Again, you can do this with any stamps that you have that you want to decorate with. Careful. Okay, so I'll continue doing that, switching out colors, switching out stamps, and I'll be right back. I have my cute paper here. I didn't mention the colors. Lemon tonic, um, fuchsia, which I thought, and parakeet with the quick dry inks from Crafter's Companion. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over, and then we're going to complete our assembly of this. Now remember, we want to keep that clear, so we're just putting glue on the very edge here, very edge here, and hopefully I'm doing this right because I haven't looked at the instructions 
I just did it one time and you kind of remember it's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna let this dry and we'll uh, continue on with our assembly. Okay, I think we're ready. So on this one again, um, this part's gonna go through and of course the side that has the pink is what you want out here. So to get that in there, we are just gonna fold this guys. Oh, you know, I had mentioned that last time I didn't realize there is a score line there. I was like, oh, I had to really kind of push on it and it went, but there is a score line there. It doesn't make mention, but I think that's probably why it went ahead and boop, folded there for you when you do your flap, okay? So just pay attention to that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna fold this in here and we're gonna put it through here. Sorry, of course, I'm gonna start that off. <laughs> from the back to the front, or front to the back, however you want to look at that, but that way. And then through here. And then these pieces, that's why you tuck them in, because you're gonna want them to go through also, okay? And there they go. And now I have that score line pretty much ready to go, so it's uh, easier. Last time, like I said, I kind of pushed it, and then it got it going. So basically, this is the mechanism. Hopefully you see that, okay? So again, score line is there. I had just not seen it and it just uh, had to really work at that last time. Okay, um, and so my idea was just to put these guys, so again, we're gonna put them face to face with each other. So like this, that's the back side of that one and this is the back side of this one. And we're gonna decorate that in just a little second. I'm just gonna put some die cuts on it. But if you wanted to stamp on it or make it a little more decorative, um, you can definitely do that. But basically that's what's gonna go up and down right here, right? Okay, so let me grab some glue. Okay, so I do wanna apologize for that first tutorial. Like I said, I it says, it, I was like, I don't see fold score lines on the pull tab with moving flap. So again, that one's there and then these little guys. Okay, so I overlooked it. I apologize. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, because I was like, well, that's odd, and they've never really skipped out on, you know, um, making it very clear, you know, how to do something, so that was my bad. Okay, I do want to take a minute to look at this just to see that it's where I want it roughly. Okay, and then this side, we want to put glue on both pieces, even though you already put glue there, because you need it to glue across that bottom, and just make sure it's glued, so um, we're going to put some glue on both pieces and meet them up. And then we're gonna put our little message again, whatever you like. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna cut something from this. If it's under there, it'd be cute. You can still cut the same shape, it'll, it'll lay over itself, but let me let this dry up and then I'll think about what I wanna do as far as decorating this. Okay, so I just brought out a bunch of this die cuts and this is really sweet. Um, this one cuts three hearts at a time. It's a little bit different from this other heart set here, these other hearts, that I believe, yeah, they have a stamp that goes along with them. Uh, super cute. So I just wanted to get some little hearts going. What do I do with the third one? I'll find it. It's here somewhere. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so uh, on this outside piece, I just cut that same little scalloped rectangle um, just to put another piece down, but you don't have to do that. But my idea here is just to show you that you can use other dies that you have and use the same mechanism and... Um, you know, just put it along this here and give yourself some clearance and you're good to go. Uh, let's see. So I do not want to stick that to my hand quite yet. <laughs> I need to put glue on the back of my hand. So let's do this part and then we'll do that. And so on this part, once it opens up, I'll put this little piece here. Again, I could have cut the same size. I just figured it'd be cute to put a little note, a smaller piece. And I cut out the word love. So we're going to have sending you love. And if I find my third heart, I'll bring it down somewhere. I just, <laughs> just cut it. It should be on this table somewhere. Let's see. I don't want it too high. All right. Let me bring it in just a little bit. So yeah, think of all the different dies that you have, even if they're just like a whatever shape, whatever you want to decorate with, I think it'll be really, really sweet. So that's there. And then I'm going to put glue on the back of my hand to stick down our sending you. And 
And, you know, I just like to do this. And I'll just kind of eyeball it, make sure it's how I want it. So I'm going to put this here. And I'm doing it kind of at an angle. So this will also be at an angle. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I just stuck um, all the little bits on the back since we're already done here. And basically, it's looking something like this. Oh, sending you love. And it snaps so nice. <laughs> it's really sturdy. And you know why it's extra, extra sturdy here is because the Centura Pearl is very thick paper. And then I use the white stamping card also for this part of the mechanism. So it's super sturdy. And I would recommend doing that. I wouldn't recommend using like recollections or something thin like that. You want a nice weighty paper. And let's put this down. Hopefully nice and straight. <laughs> and... I always like to give a good squish on the back. I don't know why. Whenever I do shakers or anything like that, because I really want it to stay down. Look at that. Super cute. I hope you guys like that. Um, just to show you again, you have the mechanism. You know, play with and experiment with some of the other dies that you might have in your stash. A square die. Even a round die. Um, I mean, the tab here, the mechanism is like kind of squarish right but I think if you had a round die and you probably can take a little bit off of it you know what I'm saying round it off I don't think it'd hurt anybody I think it'd still work just the same so thanks for watching guys um, I'll have the links in the description box if they're still available and um, on HSN there and I will see you guys at the next one bye now